Are QLOCs a good idea? You've been asking that question, haven't you? You saw the video title and you went, yeah, are they? First of all, what the heck is a QLOC? It's a qualified longevity annuity contract. We're going to dig in deep today on QLACs to see if it's right for you. If it makes sense, we'll talk about benefits and limitations, when it all started, how it all began, and if it makes sense for you. And at the end, I'll tell you how to get the QLAC Owner's Manual, which is the first book ever written on QLACs in 2014. Guess who wrote it? Me. I wrote it because I think it's a great product for most people using their traditional IRA. So hang in there with us. This ain't Aflac, this is QLAC. Okay, so when did the QLAC hit the planet? 2014, our friends at the IRS and the Treasury Department got together, catered a meal, which we paid for, I'm sure. I'm not sure they catered a meal, but I'm sure they did. And they put together a product that is for future income using your traditional IRA, not Roth, but traditional IRAs. Now, I said, well, why would they do that? Why would they do something good for us, Stan, the annuity man, the government? Hey, the reason is they're trying to convince and encourage people to plan for future income because Social Security was not put on the planet as the primary pension source, even though, and unfortunately, it is for most. So QLACs allow you to solve for future income using your traditional IRA assets. Now, current rules, at the time of this taping, it will change, I'm assuming, at the time of this taping, the rules are to fund a QLAC is you take the lesser of 25% of your IRA or $130,000. So the lesser of 25% of your total IRA assets or $130,000. So let's, let's do an example. You have a million dollar IRA. Under those rules, you can put in $130,000 in a QLAC. If you have a $500,000 IRA, under those rules, 25% or $130,000, then you can put $125,000 in a QLAC. So that's important to know. It, I think it'll go up in the future, but those are the current funding rules as we speak today. Now, if you have an IRA and your spouse partner has an IRA, then both of you can own a QLAC. Now, let's get to the point of why would we own a QLAC, Stan? Here are the benefits, in my opinion. The benefit, primary one for me, is that you can buy a QLAC and attach your spouse or partner for joint lifetime income, even though it's your traditional IRA under your name. They're allowing you to, to attach your spouse for a joint pension income. I think that's fantastic. The other, I guess, benefit that a lot of people pound the table on, but I don't, I kind of smack it a little bit, is that the money used in a qualified longevity annuity contract is not used to calculate your RMDs, your required minimum distributions when you turn 70 and a half. I'm just gonna tell you right now, sometimes it depends on who you are in your account. It might save you some taxes, it might not. But that's not the reason you should consider a QLAC. You should never buy a QLAC because it's gonna save in RMDs. No, you buy QLACs for future pensions for you and your spouse and the fact, I also think it's a, it's a good hedge for inflation, meaning that you have income starting in the future at a specific date you choose. Now, one of the other rules that people get a, kind of confused on is this misinformation out there. People think that if you buy a QLAC, you have to start the income at age 85. That's not true. Listen to me, that's not true. You can start it as early as age 71 up to age 85. So in between there, you can choose the date. Okay, and you can set it up joint life only, life only, joint life with cash refund, life with cash refund, whatever. It's commoditized and we will quote, go to StanleyNewityMan.com, we will quote all of those QLAC carriers for you for the highest contractual guarantee for your specific situation. So those are the rules of QLACs. Benefits are pretty obvious, right? Future income and you're, you're kind of attacking future inflation and maybe some RMD savings on your taxes. Limitations are, it's, it's irrevocable contract, meaning that once you turn on the income stream, it's coming. Uh, we can structure it so that 100% of the money goes to the beneficiaries if you die early in the contract. But the limitations is the fact that 
you know, it is a contract for income. You're going to miss out on any growth opportunities. There's not a growth component inside of a QLAC that you can track. They're going to pay you a lifetime income stream based on your life expectancy or life expectancies at the time you take the payment. So the older you are, the higher the payment, just like Social Security. In fact, eerily similar, QLACs work eerily similar to Social Security, which is another governmental project, right? Or product, project, product? Who knows? At the end of the day, QLEX might fit for you, but at least get a quote, go to standingannuityman.com or call me and we can discuss it as well. So a client of mine called me the other day because we're sending out information on QLEX because it's kind of you know, that time of the year for people to look at them. And my client goes, well, Stan, why would I ever, ever buy a QLEX? I don't need income. Um, I like to trade my stocks. I like to do my thing. I like to, you know, and I went, that, those are good points and, and valid points. Maybe you don't need a QLAC. But then I asked one question. I said, what happens to all those really neat trading strategies and all of those great growth ideas you have in the stock market? What happens to those when you die? Does your wife care about that? Does she care about um, watching the markets and CNBC and Fox Business? Does she care at all about that? Of course, the answer was no. So my comment was, why wouldn't you buy a QLAC defer it as far out as possible. Of course, you can change it one time if it's joint life with cash refund, you can change that start date one time. And then attach your wife um, as a joint payout, person. meaning when you die, Fred, she's gonna continue to get the income uninterrupted and unchanged. He paused for a second, he said, you know what? That might make sense because when I die, the pension I'm getting from my company, one of the companies I work with, goes away. I said, bingo, there you go, we're gonna gap fill using a QLAC for your wife for her lifetime income stream that she would not get because she's going to lose that pension that when you die. And he goes, bingo, this makes sense, let's do it. That might make sense for you. It might not be for you, it might be for your spouse or partner to make sure that they're getting an additional lifetime income stream that they can never outlive. Okay, so where do they fit? QLACs fit for? future income needs using your traditional IRA assets. I've done another video you might want to check out on QLAC pros and cons where I kind of dug a little deeper into the benefits and limitations in conjunction with this video. That would be a good one to watch. Also, you need to get the book. Remember, QLAC owner's manual. So if you keep doing all of this education, you're going to make a good decision. And obviously, we can provide those QLAC quotes and quote every carrier out there to see who has the highest contractual guarantee for your specific situation at standtheannuityman.com. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button so you can get notice of these videos. Uh, we're putting one out every single day of the week for infinity or until my Learjet hits the mountain. Hopefully that doesn't happen and I know I don't have a Learjet. That's a figure of speech. Now to get the book, go down, 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 down farther. More info. See it? More info? Click it. Now, nod your head that you said some kind of just, everything just went, information went boop, right? Okay, there's something that says books. Click that link where it says books, and then you're gonna be brought to another page, and on that page, you're gonna fill out your shipping information so I can ship you this book, no obligation, no cost, just so you can understand, because I might have forgotten some things in this crazy little world called YouTube videos, but I tried to cover it all, but if I didn't cover it, I covered it in the book, so let me send that to you and then please contact us at standtheannuityman.com if you want to dig further. See you next time.